This video is in response to a viewer's question. Tom asks, can I leave a Bluetooth transmitter and receiver in line all the time? Short answer, yes, you can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate how we can turn this into a Bluetooth transmitter, meaning we can transmit music or or whatever we want to, music, CDs, AM, FM, radio, to this speaker. We're gonna go from the stereo receiver to the Bluetooth transmitter. From the Bluetooth transmitter, we're gonna go to the speaker. And then in the next step, we're going to turn your home stereo into a Bluetooth receiver, where we are going to stream from your phone, tablet, or PC to the Bluetooth receiver, and this will feed music in to your home stereo. Let's get started. Okay, so I've turned the stereo system around, and one of the first things that I like to do when I hook up any sort of a Bluetooth device, and this is just the order that I do it in, I always hook up audio in first and audio out last. So what I have here is I already have my five volt power source from my AC adapter hooked up to my Micus unit. What I'm gonna use is because this user uses three and a half, uh, 3.5 millimeter uh, um, headphone jack for audio in and out. I'm gonna use these little conversion cords. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this cord, plug it into there. Forget what this thing just said, I just pushed a button. Okay, now this is audio input. So we have to get music or audio source from the uh, receiver to here. What I like to do is I like to use a tape output. It's a fixed uh, RCA audio output source. As you can see, I'm already using uh, tape one. So we're going to utilize tape two for audio signal. So we're gonna plug in our right our left. By doing this, we're taking music signal from here to the input to here. Now we need to use another cord to get signal from out of this to here. So what I'm going to do, and this didn't get wrapped very tight, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use auxiliary input. So we're going to go right and left auxiliary inputs. And then we're gonna plug that into our Bluetooth unit. So what we have here is sort of a loop. We have sound going out of here to the input of here from the output of here back into here. Now we can leave this pretty much hooked up 24 seven at this point. So we're gonna slide this back around. Of course, when we're all done, we're gonna clean up our wiring and what, what I would suggest for maximum range is actually take this device, maybe set it up on top of your system. That way you can get pretty much whole house coverage. Okay, so let's start with, uh, let's start with streaming from here. So what I wanna do is I wanna stream maybe AM radio or the cassette deck or something into either a Bluetooth speaker or maybe a, blue, uh, a set of Bluetooth headphones. With most of these modern uh, Bluetooth units, or what they call the two-in-ones, you can stream to two different uh, units. So in this case, we're going to go to one speaker, but if you would like maybe to listen to a ball game or your favorite program source into a couple pairs of headphones, you can do that just fine. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to put this in transmit mode. We're going to turn on our Bluetooth speaker. Connected and ready for use. Okay, connected, ready for use. Let's go over here to AM radio. Oh, let's turn the stereo on. How about that? Alexander and the team at Teton Wealth Group. 844-Teton-00-844-844. Okay, so we just learned something here, and that is when you're using the cassette or tape output, that being a fixed volume, this is no longer this is no longer volume control for here. Okay, you still have a home stereo. Well, that's what I call them. At least. They're really just weak. 
And you could listen to both of these at the same time, say, like, leave this on in your front room, and you could take this out into the kitchen or out onto the patio or into the yard with you. If you want, just understand, when you get this close to your speakers or to the, your main listening room, you're going to have some latency or delay between the two. It takes a second for all this stuff to happen. Okay? So here's what we have. We've basically... Um, we've turned our home stereo into a Bluetooth transmitter, whether it's a Bluetooth speaker, headphones, or maybe even a set of powered Bluetooth speakers in another room. What else can we do with this? Let's have a little fun. Let's let's listen to a cassette. Yeah, I said it. Cassette. So let's do this. Let's, um... Or the ball game, right? Worth forty-nine thousand. You begin to when you brace the cross. You begin to. I have terrible AM reception it's, here. It's a whole or time. FM. Oops. I don't really want to do that because I'm going to get hit with copyright jazz. Okay, now so that's what we did. We've accomplished basically turning our home stereo into a Bluetooth transmitter. Now, we're gonna have a little more fun. We're going, I, I always call these videos fun with Bluetooth, all right? Now we're gonna turn this into a Bluetooth receiver. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm going to take this Micus unit and turn it into receiver by flipping the switch on the side. We're going from TX, which means transmit, to RX, that's receiver. Okay, now we're going. Remember, we plug the audio output from this to auxiliary input. So turn your home stereo on to auxiliary. Okay, hit play. Okay. So now what we're doing is we're streaming from our cell phone, our tablet, our home PC, from this device to this device, and then into the home stereo. And that is what I call fun with Bluetooth, all right? Um, you know, Bluetooth, to some people, is really high fidelity. It's really, in my opinion, more of a convenience. And yeah, some, you know, some, some sound better than others, but that's just basically how this runs. Now remember, because we're... Uh, feeding to the auxiliary input of this now. Now, this is our volume control, as well as this. And just one quick little bit of information. What I like to do is I like to set my home stereo to my maximum volume that I'm going to go to. And then while I'm walking around the house, I use this as my volume control. So I don't have to keep going back and forth to the home stereo. Tom, thanks for that outstanding question. Um, if any of you folks have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching.